I heard gunshots. I heard more gunshots. And so I started to get worried. I get a radio call. It says, Dave, Billy's been hit. Billy Deegan. I grabbed my guys and said, let's go. We headed in down a trail that would take us towards the Y. And we find Billy down there. Frank goes to work on him uh, to try and uh, help him. And he just looks up, and we know and look in his eye that uh, Billy's gone. How did it happen, you know? What happened there? The family's version is that they're chasing deer into the woods, and there's a place where the trails come together in a sort of Y. Kevin Harrison and Samuel Weaver are coming down this way, Randy Weaver's coming down this way. And according to the family, at that moment, um, they see some men dressed in, um, in fatigues with dark paint and you know very much like a strike team and that um, possibly to, to silence this dog which has found their location um, one of the marshals shoots and kills the dog 14 year old Samuel Weaver at that moment erupts and says you killed my dog you son of a bitch and opens fire again according to the family the marshals then fire back killing Samuel Weaver Of course, the marshals tell a different story. In their version of the telling, as these groups come together on this why, the marshals identify themselves and call out a surrender order. And it's at that moment that Kevin Harris dives for cover, fires on the marshals, and shoots and kills William Deegan, a highly decorated US marshal in the special operations group. And so you have these two incredibly different narratives the marshals believing they've come under attack by white separatists, and the family believing they've been attacked by federal agents. <laughs> 